What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Sam Ham TV and welcome to a brand new episode of Food Adventures. Today, we're gonna be bringing you this episode all the way from Bangkok, Bangkok Thailand. So, yo, I'm hungry, I'm starving. Today guys, we're at 7-Eleven all the way here in Bangkok and it's about 12 p.m. right now. Mm -hmm. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime and you know what? 7-Eleven here is elite. It's crazy. I was really surprised with what I saw so far. And you know what? I think, Sam, you, you gotta show them. Yo, we have to showcase. You gotta show them, We have man. to showcase you guys how good the 7-Eleven here is in Thailand. Without further ado, let's get it. They have like, look at this, bro. What the heck is this? Crab chips. Yo, crab chips? Yo, no, no, this is crab or lobster? This is crab or lobster, bro? Yeah, they have lobster. Oh, my no, God, that's crab. crab. That's, that's crab. crab, bro. Tell me, yo, have you ever seen nacho cheese, Doritos? I don't think there's such a thing in America, right? No. If you guys know what this is right here, Yaku. Yaku right here, the best yogurt drink in the entire world. Also with 7-Eleven, guys, you guys know they have everything. Starting with the oils, you know, you guys gotta cook. You know, they got the, the, chi the Asian ketchup The Asian here. ketchup. You know, you know, the Asian ketchup is fire. 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 And you know what? Um, where's my mom, you, bro? Yo, bro, you want some instant noodles? AKA, Mama. Ma -ma. Where's Mama? Mama, Mama. I don't know what it is. This is Mama right here. Probably, man. This is Basically, probably Mama, right? Yeah, and back home, you guys don't really have this, this brand. You know, this is real instant noodles, guys. You guys can't be eating Mr. Noodles out here. You gotta be eating the Mama. 7-Eleven has some school supplies here. We got some pencils, some pens. Everything here, like, it's like the perfect grocery store slash convenience store here in Asia if your clothes are smelly. Bro, what do you do when your clothes are smelly, Soom? You wash them. Boom. They have an entire laundry section here in 7-Eleven, which is crazy. Your dog's hungry, what do you do? You feed him. You feed him. Come here. You got dog food. <laughs> you got dog food. You got dog food. Bro, your cat's hungry. What do you, like, what do you do? You feed him. You feed him. Got some kitty foods right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what, 7-Eleven? Yeah, bro. Your bro, your little brother, your little sister needs a present for her birthday. What do you do? You get him one. Oh, come here. Bro. Fam. Fam. Everything, it's like the mini Walmart in Asia. You got the toys. Bro, you want to build a sandcastle? I got you. So, you want to go fishing? I got you. I got you. You're on an airplane. You have no earphones. What do you do? 7-Eleven. Fam. Fam. You're hot. You need something to eat. What do you get? Food. No. Some ice creams. Okay. You know. The standard. Oh. Oh, push. You get the Magnum. Magnums only. This is the main reason why we're in 7-Eleven. This entire food section right here. The food section is actually incredible. Come on in right here. Look at that. Bro. They have right here. Look at that. We got some pork, omelet with the chicken. Yo, we got the spaghetti. I'm definitely gonna try this. Spaghetti carbonara right here. I don't know how this is gonna taste in Thailand. Definitely gonna get some of that. Oh, sticky rice. We got some sticky rice with pork. You know, some authentic Thai foods here in 7-Eleven, which is crazy. So we're getting a lot of these foods and actually go back to try them and tell you guys how they taste. So if you guys can look over here, the total that we just paid for with 11 items is almost 400 baht. How much is that? That is 20 bucks for 11 meals, guys. Not only is it cheap, but it is delicious. We're back here. Obviously in 7-Eleven, there's no, there's no seat. We're like, where we can sit in? There's no seats. So we have to come home and, 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 and eat. And eat. So we basically have to come home and eat. So here's every single item that we got right here. We got the Japanese with the sushi. We got, you know, Thai, Thai dishes, of course. Western dishes such as, you know, spaghetti carbonara. We got, you know, like just simple sausages. Thai dishes like pot siu. We got some drinks. We got some, you know, Thai drinks. That, um, what is this? Drink what is this? It's like a lemongrass drink, but I don't know what it's called. But it's not lemongrass. So this is aloe vera, no? Nah, it's lemongrass, bro. Are you sure? I just scale of one to ten, how, how hungry are you? I'm pretty hungry, Sam. I'm actually starving. Sam, you want to bless the meal quick before we eat? A little All quick, right. a little quick blessing. Thank you, God, for this food. Amen. Amen. Let's Boom. go. Let's go. All right, you Thank know what, you, bro? Jesus. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna actually try this cocktail sausages first. And yeah, let me try some of that too. It's a cheese sauce, bro. Yeah. It's a cheese sauce. It's a cheese sauce, bro. Let me try some of that. Let's do that. Some like cocktail sausage, some cheese sauce. Oh, not bad. Not bad. It's like one of those Costco, no. Costco sausages. The cheese is so thick. Mm. Mm. 
Why is it nice? It's nice. Mm. Yo, I say we try this drink quick. What do you mean? All right. Some lemongrass drink. Bro, how the bro you're tripping. It's not lemongrass, dog. I think it's lemongrass, bro. No, hey, no, no. I'm pretty sure I know what it is as soon as I taste it. All right, cheers. Cheers, bro. Nice smell. Oh, I know oh, what it is. Yeah, cheers. Lem it's lemongrass. Mm. No. Pandane juice. It's pandane leaves, bro. That's why it's, that's, that's why it's green. It's pandane juice with, uh, with aloe vera inside. Okay, whatever. Yes, yes. Pandane juice right here. I told you. Nata de coco in pandane juice. My bad. Look at that. But it's delicious, guys. There's coconut. There's coconut. I don't know if you can see that, but the camera keeps focusing on. It's like coconut jelly with pandane juice. I was right. I was right. Yeah, okay. sounds right. I'm gonna try this patsu, a Thai staple. Yo, bro, I love patsu, man. How's that? Bro, give me some of patsu. Try that. It tastes like. Mm. It tastes like how my mom makes it. <laughs> my mom makes it good. Yo, yo, wow. Yo, 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 yo actually, yo, give me that. That's a dollar. Sorry. <laughs> this is a dollar, bro. Guys, this is a dollar. Yo. Over here, we got the. Pork belly, garlic and rice. Mm. You know, meat and rice. That but, but, bro, you know what's crazy? What's crazy, Sam? I've had some people come up to me, mm. tell me that Thai Express Pot C is the best. Mm-mm. Mm. So they clearly haven't been to 7-Eleven, bro. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Thai Express is good if you what? haven't had experience real Thai food. Shut up. No, it's not. No, but Thai the Express is, is like zero out of ten. Don't ever no, say that. No, but the thing is, maybe some of them haven't experienced real Thai food, so they can say it's just delicious in general. No, it's not. But if you had real Thai food, you can. You can't. Thai, but you compare to Thai Express. Nope. Nope. No, but you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying if you haven't. Thai Express is not good. It's not the definition of a Thai food. If you want Thai food, you go to a Thai restaurant. I no, know. No excuse. No. 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 You're disrespecting your own culture, bro. <laughs> no. 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 This is what I'm saying. I'm saying, if you are trying Thai food, Thai Express for the very first time, it's ass. <laughs> it's not ass. <laughs> if you compare it to Thai, real Thai food, then yes, it's ass. But like, if you just eat it by itself, you know what? Oh, I want to try this. I want to try Pad Thai. It's actually like, you feel what you try to get what I'm trying to say? No. <laughs> oh my. You guys know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. No. People love Thai Express out there. Like, it's like going to, the, it's like, oh, I want Chinese food. Oh. Let's go to an Indian chef to cook a Chinese food. No, it's not like that. Okay. Do you, do you like burgers? I love burgers. So, well, name me like one of the best burger places you've ever had. McDonald's. See, see, McDonald's is equivalent to Thai Express when it comes to fast food. But people like would go eat a nice burger at like a nice fancy restaurant. But if you have never had a burger at a nice fancy restaurant, you're satisfied with McDonald's. So honestly, bro. Okay. At, at the end of the day, if you want real Thai food, Thai Express is not an option. Okay, and it's not good. And you know what? This this is the wrong idea too. It's like getting spaghetti from like Seven Eleven. Like Italians are probably gonna be mad at me and furious at me for doing this. But look at this. Ah! Oh. Honestly, first bite, gang, bro. You you go first bite. How's that? Is that fire? Mm. Is that fire? Actually, yo, I actually tried real spaghetti carbonara before. Yo, that's not bad, bro. Let me try this. It's creamy. Creamy? Yo. It's a lot of it's all seasoning in there. Mm. I taste that pepper. Yo, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Guys, this whole meal was less than $20. Yeah, that's the, that's the shocking part. It's really cheap. Yo, yo, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna body this entire meal. Guys, this is a famous Thai dish. It is basil, pork, and rice. We call it in Thailand, Pakra Pao. Pakra Pao. And you know what? Stir fried basil. It's a staple. So now I'm going to compare this to, you know, a homemade, a homemade one. Because, you know, my mom makes a lot of these. Let's see, let's see how it tastes. You're supposed to get a little bit of the rice action in the rice. And... How's that? Mmm. That's really good. Spicy. Spicy? Mom makes it a little better. But. This is good, bro. For a dollar? A dollar, fam? A dollar? Mmm. Look at that, guys. A dollar? Camera's not folding, but. Wow. Yo! Wow. Sound trying to pull belly yet? No. Come here. 
Try pork belly. Send that. <coughs> oh, oh, a little kick, a little kick, eh? You good? There's a little kick in it. A little kick. This is like one of my favorite things ever. If you guys ever go to Korean barbecue, this is like the pork belly that you usually grill on the grill. You know what I'm talking about? Bacon pork belly, similar. Bro, oh. that's garlic pork belly. Wow. Bro, holy! Let's try this out. We have to use our hands for this one. Exactly. We, we, we gotta go traditional, guys. Traditional. So right here is Thai, Thai sticky rice with crispy pork right here. And the way we eat sticky rice in Thailand is we, we need to use our hands and like need to get the piece of pork right here. We need to just put it in our mouth. Just eat it. Here, take it. Right here. I'll wait for you to get a little piece of yours, bro. Because it's- What's this called? In, this is called mu. Mu tart. Mu tart khao niu. Khao niu is sticky rice. Mu tart is fried pork. Fried pork. All, All right. right. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Mmm. Yo. No words. No words. I can eat this every day. Every day. Cheap eats, eh? Cheap eats, bro. This whole table was 20 bucks. Mm. Man, just buying one meal for ourselves? A dollar. Mmm. Bro. I don't know what it is, but I feel like eating with your hands, food just tastes so much better. I agree. Is it like the salt from your hands? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> just feels, I don't know. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna have to steal the pot from you. I right, finish that. Yeah, we're gonna finish. We have to finish the whole thing. Everything? Is it rude in mukbangs if you don't finish your meal? I've seen mukbangs where they don't finish their meals. But we're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish this. There's nothing. Mm. The combination of sweetness and the saltiness from the patsy was just unbelievable. We haven't ate for like how long is that? Like 12 hours? Yeah. Like we woke up like a few hours ago, waited to do this mukbang, waited to do this, you know. But yeah, we're hungry. We gotta eat. Thailand is amazing, guys. If you guys haven't come to Thailand, you are gonna definitely miss out on life, man. A strong the food, recommendation. The food here is cheap. The weather here is pretty nice. Well, right now. This is so good. I can kill this. So good. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. Boom! One plate down. Clean. All right. I don't know. I don't know about the feeling of like Thai people making sushi, but there we go. Got some sushi. Went on there, California roll. How's that? Mmm. Just like a, like a regular California roll to me. All right. Is it good? Yeah, it's nice. Is I it? didn't try it with ketchup. Ketchup. No, I mean, so sauce. <laughs> you know, me and you have had our fair shares of sushi, you know, over the days, you know, from the fast foods to all you can eat to the expensive ones. Yep. So you, you've already had your first bite, Sam. Compare this to, you know what, a simple fast food all you can eat. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not a fan of all you can eat anymore because I feel like they just overstuff their, their sushi with rice. Mm -hmm. So I can't really taste the, the quality of meat. Like, and, 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 the qual like I can't really taste the meat, is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. And also at the same time, the quality of meat is not even that good at all you can eat sushi. So this right here was 30 baht. It's like about a dollar for the entire uh, tray right here. Like I'd say it's pretty, it's pretty good for a dollar. But it's, it's better than those all you can eat joints though. Cause all you can eat joints are nasty. Like unless you find really good ones, then like I would respect that. But like right now, that thing is tasting better than half of the all you can, the all you can eat sushi joints that I had back in Toronto. It's okay, it's like a regular, mm. it's like nice, like not like, whoa, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like high end, but. Mm. Not bad. It's nice, it is nice. You know what bro, I love myself some beer. This right here is called the Sing Sing beer right here. And in 7-Eleven they sell that, which is really cool. So I love drinking beer with my with my foods. So there you go. Cheers. Cheers to the world for those of you who are watching. Cheers. Have a good life. Happy Chinese New Year if you're watching this video. How's that beer? Oh, Thai beer? Fantastical. Okay. Beer with any like barbecue kind of food. Amazing. 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 Mm. Ready for that? I'll kill this. Kill that. 
What do you want to eat? Right. I, I like this. All right, fine. I'll eat this. Let me try some of that beer. Mmm. Oh, let's go barbecue. Pie beer is like very, it, it, it tastes like Sprite. Yeah. Not like tasting like Sprite, but like it has that, that fizz, like mm -hmm. that fizz in your mouth. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Oh, too much rice is not good for your stomach, guys. I'm, I'm making you fat, man. Yeah. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Yo, bro, don't forget, we have some dessert, dessert man. Mm. I see, after this time, we go do 100 push ups. A thousand. A thousand. Unbelievable, bro. I get like 20 pounds in this. Mm. What is this, bro? What is this? Bro, I don't even know what the heck that is. <laughs> the girl was like, oh, buy this. This thing was two bucks. It was two bucks. Two bucks? 60 bucks. Yo, for this size, whatever it is, man, that's pretty worth it. Because the bubble tea back home is like 10 bucks, man. Yeah, man. This is. You don't know what it is. There's popcorn on top. Sam was just buying the food and the cashier was like, hey, you should try this. And Sam was just like, all right, yeah, yeah, sure, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so we're going to try this. All right? We're just trying. Finish the rice, man. Yeah, finish the rice first? All right, man. Let's, let's finish the rice. This is kind of like dessert. Mm. Well, for the last piece of the, the tropical chorizo. Fest festival sausage, what is it called? Yeah. Festival or tropical? tropical. Fest festive? Yeah, festive uh, sausage? I don't know what it's called. It might be tropical. No, yeah, what is it called? Party sausage? It has a name. It's like, um, festive sausage. Wieners? No, it, it's a wiener, but like, <laughs> there's a name. I have no idea, Sam. Um, what, yo, what, guys, what is it called? What is, what is it called? Vienna. No, 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 not Vienna sausages. No, there's a name. Festive sausage? Festive sausage? Cocktail sausages, cocktail mm -hmm. sausages. There you go. Right, right, right. Cocktail sausages, right here. Mm. Here, have a piece of that rice. There's yours. Let's finish this. Let's finish this thing right here. Last bite of the last bite of the the pork, the fried pork, sticky rice, fried pork. Mmm. 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 I love my ice, guys. Ice and any drink, fire. Ice just makes anything better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, I want that sushi. Fuck, I should have never ordered the sushi. It's too much. Yeah. It's too, too, too thick, man. Like, the sushi is too thick. Sam, you want the last bite of pork belly? Or you want me to just kill it? From that. Alright, that's. Pork belly is nice, guys. Another plate, complete. Pork oh, belly in Thailand is salty. Oh, that's disrespectful in Thai culture, bro. Yeah, guys, very dis Yeah. I'm telling them what, tell them what it means, man. If there's still rice in your plate. You know what it means? Like Thai culture, when I was little, my mom always told me that if you're Thai, you have to finish every single grain of rice on your plate because the farmers, Work hard for every grain of rice, and it's like kind of like disrespectful to the culture if you have like rice left on the plate, right? So, no, it's not just that, bro. They say that if there's grain of rice on your plate, the more like rice grains, it's the more pimples you're getting in your face. Remember, oh, you ever heard of those? Who the hell told you that? One of my aunts. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, shit. They say if you don't finish your plate, you're gonna have pimples. So that's why me and Sam have no pimples. Like we always like finish every grain of rice. Well, we should clean this too, bro. Clean that. Mm. Noodles. There's no, there's no rice there, so we're okay. All right, fine. You, you want some of this? Uh, no. You like ah, it? It's hot. <sighs> wow. Spicy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but can you finish the last meat bite, bro? I can't finish it. No waste, bro. No waste. No waste. 
你查了没看？我也是。煮饭。还有啥？你 definitely need some water after that. Mmm. Boom. All right. He just gave me a hand, a spoonful of pepper and chili. That's hot. Yo, we body this. Body. Your battery's about to die, bro. Mmm. It's like caramel popcorn in a drink. That's what it tastes like. The milk tastes like caramel popcorn. That's nice. Mmm. Give it a little bit of something over here. Like a vanilla popcorn caramel flavor. Yeah. Salted Remake. caramel. Someone took salted caramel. It's pretty good actually. Alright, time for the cakes. Yeah, bro. What's your chocolate? I love chocolate, man. Get all those layering. Amazing. And obviously gonna drip this. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. That looks very nice. It looks super nice. Good job, Sam. You may look really good. It looks, it looks amazing. No drips, no spills. Look no. at that! Get some chocolates in there. Action. Look at that layering. Yo, you can tell that they're moist. Is your fork? Is your fork? Okay, thank you. Amen. Alright, cheers for dessert. Hold that. Fuck, fire. You love... It's so decadent, man. Hold on. Can you taste it? This is amazing. Have you tried quick, 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 quick before? It's not bad. It's great. Taste like a really quick cake. I don't know if you guys see the layers, but. Mmm, yeah. I like this one better. Mm -hmm. What? Chocolate? It's strawberry. Really? Yeah. It's not chocolate. We body this. That one's better. Because you can have it. I, I like chocolate. I, like, I love chocolate. Yeah, I know. Sam loves chocolate. Can't guys. go wrong with chocolate. Mmm. It's impossible for me to go wrong with chocolate. I, I, I think it's like the best creation ever created by God. Chocolate. Chocolate. And so, first God made Adam and Eve, and he was like, yo, Adam, here's some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I buy that. I'm full. I would say that was a good, that was a good meal, man. Fantastic meal. Fantastic. Yo, know, like, there's not one thing that we did not body, and one thing we did not. No. Really like, I mean dislike. There's not one thing that we just. The, the worst thing for me here was the, the sushi. Like I didn't really mess with the sushi too much. Yeah, like I didn't want to eat that last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I felt like I was forced to eat that last piece of sushi because we bought it. We bought it, and I didn't want to waste food. But it's like, why come to Thailand and get sushi? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, unless yeah. you go to an authentic Japanese restaurant. But like, you come to Thailand for Thai food, right? So I should have never got the sushi. But like everything else, fire. What's your favorite? My favorite thing out of all things was the pad siu, bro. This thing right here pad siu? was so good. Um, I actually, like, my favorite thing is yeah, definitely the pad siu. And my second is, it has to be the garlic pork for me. Yeah, for me, it was probably the garlic pork, number one. But number two, like, I was actually really surprised by the spaghetti carbonara. Like, you know what? It tasted so creamy. Bomb. Or something, like, out of a convenience store, you yeah. know? Like, <laughs> wow. Like, it was, <laughs> I bodied that. If you guys go watch, I. Like, like, yo, he just got to destroy yeah. that. Okay, no tomorrow. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the mukbang. You know what, guys? One thing about us is we love food. You know, life is about, you know, eating, experiencing new things. And you know what? This is the first time we actually ate a 7 Eleven meal. You know, we were told that it was, it was, it was amazing. So yeah. that we should try it. And you know what? Out of 10, rate it. Bro, honestly, I'm a 7 guy. I love all types of food, man. If you're asking me to rate something on a 10, then I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a what? Uh, comment, hit that like button if you like the video, and also guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my brother already, guys, subscribe to Soundham TV. He's gonna be big, coming up big things. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Take it easy. Boom. And stay tuned for more food adventures here in Bangkok, Thailand. All right, guys. Peace. Peace.